Joining me now is Dr. Leslie Michaud, Country Program Director, World Vision Haiti. Doctor, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having me in the program this morning. What is the situation on the ground in Haiti? Has there been any improvement or has it gotten worse? No, let me say that the situation is even worsening. You see, we are in, in at the age of a, a complete, complete chaos in terms of uh, because of um, understaffed police has not been um, able to kind of stop um, the, the, the evolution of gang because we are in the situation in, in this capital where more than 80% of, uh, of um, the metropolitan area is under gang influence. You see, for the past days, we have seen more than 362,000 internally displaced people. And uh, we are in a situation where people are running for their life. Only for the past two weeks, more than 33,000 people left for the province going back to the provinces, you see. As you just um, announced, we are in a country where more than five, uh, 5.2 million people are in need of um, humanitarian um, humanitarian um, aid. And with the looting of the port of, France, uh, um, of the main port of the capital, now um, this, uh, um, this situation has disrupted um, the distribution of goods and services, raising even more the risk of limited access to, to services. Uh, the country has reached a level of, uh, of very low very low in terms of uh, in terms of uh, fuel, in terms of water storage, um, um, that raising um, um, the risk of, of even um, of um, of um, 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 worsening of the situation in, in the country. Sorry, you mentioned that a, I think a, a quarter million people did I hear you say have been displaced and they're out in the countryside. What is it? What is it like for them? What's happening with those people? Those people are going back to the most of the provinces in terms of because they are running for their life, leaving the capital of the province, going back to the to the to the to the main provinces, mostly the south of the country. And uh, for people in the areas that are controlled by the gangs, are they getting any food? Or are they getting any help in those areas? That's the main. That's the main concern. They are not. They are not. They are in. Uh, you see, there is a gang battle in terms of between themselves. That's why we are at the age of. Uh, of a dire humanitarian crisis, and also at the age of um, of, uh, of, a, of, a, um, of an hunger crisis, because you see, um, we have more than five million people that are being exposed, and even before the crisis, more than thirty-five percent of people were not able to uh, to meet um, um, the, the expenses of the minimum uh, the minimum food basket. You see, increasing even more the risk of having. Um, a huge, a huge, but huge um, risk of um, of uh, hunger crisis. What uh, would you like to see countries like Canada and the U.S. do? But we we want to see those countries to stand. World Vision want to see those countries to stand on solidarity with the Haitian with the Haitian people in order to to facilitate access to basic services. Secondly, we would like to see them to to put in place a safe corridor immediately where we can continue providing um, services like food health um, uh, to, to those people in need. And third, in terms of calling for funding, because last humanitarian response, response plan was funded only at 33%. We don't see that happening in, in a short period of time. It means the death for many, for thousands of Asian children, for thousands of, uh, of, uh, of women that have been exposed to this violence and uh, feeling um, desperate and um, 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 complaining that they are not seeing uh, that solidarity that we used to we used to see coming from a country like Canada and the U.S. Okay, Dr. Michelle, thank you very much for sharing your thoughts today. Thank you, Petrosa. Thanks, Dr. Leslie Michelle is a country director, uh, program director for World Vision Haiti.